this is the animation setup for full adder circuit uh, i have uh, drawn the circuit uh, as per the logic diagram we have explained in the previous session only one thing i have changed here for the sum it is axor vxor c in instead of giving it in a single or gate with three input single or gate i first done a xor b you can see in the figure i first given a two input xor gate i first done a xor b so the output is a xor b then this a xor b is xor with the c in you can see the c in comes coming to next xor gate so you get the output a xor b xor c in the last class the logic diagram i have used a single xor gate with the three inputs so this is only difference remaining everything is same so before uh, going to animation just look at the truth table which uh, we explained in the last class truth table of full ladder the first case as per the truth table if a0 b0 c0 all switches are off therefore it is zero sum is zero carry is zero carry out is zero now if a0 b0 and the c is one then you can see the high voltage is going to first the AND gate, the other input is zero, therefore the output of AND gate is zero. And the C in high is going to one XOR gate. You can see the one input of XOR gate is zero, the other one is high. Zero XOR one is one, so output sum is one as per the XOR two table. Now we will see zero one zero again, same condition. The bottom, bottom gate, the AND gate one input is one, one input is zero, so output is zero. Here also in the anti gate, one input is zero, one input is one, so output is zero. So C out is zero. Here the one XOR gate input is one, other is zero, therefore output is high. For the second XOR gate also one input is high, next input is zero. So for XOR gate, if inputs are different, output is high. So sum is high. Now zero one one. In the case of zero one one. You can see in this XOR, the last XOR gate, both inputs are equal. Both inputs are 1, therefore output is 0. But here in the last AND gate, both inputs are high, therefore output is high. Input of one XOR gate is high, therefore C out is high. And this is the case of 1, 0, 1, 1. Now we will see 1, 0, 0 again same as we have explained in the case of a single one, either A, B or C. We have the sum high because either one in both the inputs of XOR gate are different therefore output is high. now 101 again sum is 0 carry out is high now 110 again sum is 0 carry out is high now 111 you can see everywhere it is high and in the last XOR gate you have different inputs First XOR gate, both inputs are high, therefore output is 0. But in the second XOR gate, both inputs are different, therefore output is high. So this is sum 1, carry 1. And this is the animation of full error.